Hey, so we're working with linear non-homogeneous recurrence relations. I think we saw one, yep, a non-homogeneous type. We went through all the steps and uh, we want to do another one. This one's the more, more complex because it's going to have multiple roots as you'll see. Well, you'll see, right? So we want to find all solutions, first of all, to the... Um, non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Why is it non-homogeneous? Well, it gets this non-homogeneous part here on the end, right? It doesn't have a zero on the end. It doesn't have a zero. It has this function that's not zero. All right, so when we're doing these, multi-step process, right? Step one, you're gonna look at the associated homogeneous linear recurrence relation. So we're gonna call this, what, the homogeneous part right here. Uh, step one. And we're going to think of that as being HN. So step one, solve HN. Solve for HN. Where HN is the associated linear homogeneous recurrence relation. So HN equals minus five. HN minus one. Minus six. Hn minus 2, and we stop there, right? We don't put anything else in the end. We keep 0 in the end. It's homogeneous. All right, so how do you solve these dudes? Remember, you do a characteristic equation. I want to call it CHEQ. And here we're talking about what degree 2? Y degree 2? Well, from n to n minus 2, space of 2. So here we're going to have what? R squared equals minus 5R minus 6. We're going to have 5r to both sides. We're going to add 6 to both sides. We're going to get r squared plus 5r plus 6 equals 0. We're going to factor into two pairs of parentheses. We're going to have what? r plus 3, r plus 2. We're going to have two roots, negative 3. It's going to have multiplicity 1, right? It only shows up once. Let me scroll a little bit. That should have been a plus 2 right there, right? r plus 3, r plus 2. And negative 2 is our second root, and that's a multiplicity 1. It only shows up 1. So those are our two roots, right? Multiplicity 1, both of them. So the form of Hn, Hn being the associated homogeneous recurrence relation, remember, alpha 1 times your first root, I'll call negative 3, to the n power plus alpha 2 times... Your second root. It's your second root, negative 2, and then to the n power. So those are both uh, multiplicity 1, so nothing fancy. So that's the form of Hn. That's all solutions to Hn. Don't have any, what do you call those things, uh, initial condition restraints yet, constraints. All right, step 2. We want to focus on... Um, Solving for the particular solution. So finding a particular solution. I'm going to say solve for PN. Can I squeeze PN here? Probably not. Okay, I'll just write it below. Solve for a particular solution. So when you're doing that, you got to focus on the non-homogeneous part in blue, right? F of M, the ending part, which is what? 42 times 4 to the N. So your particular solution, PN, is going to kind of mimic or mirror... The non-homogeneous part there is a function of n here. So 42, that's called the polynomial part, right? You have a polynomial part and you have a geometric part. So the polynomial part, Pn has to have 1. So that's what? A constant, right? 42 is a constant, so Pn is going to have a constant. Call it E0. And also, um, there's a geometric part. It's called 4 to the n here, right? So also our uh, particular solution has to have 4 to the n. So we're going to have e naught times 4 to the n. And then check out 4 to the n. Is 4 the base, the geometric base there, or the common ratio for the geometric term 4, is that one of our roots? Is that one of our roots that showed up in the characteristic equation earlier? Question mark. So this 4. Is that one of the roots? No, it's not. 
It's not, right? It's not one of the roots, so we don't have to worry about doing anything fancy. Like if it were one of the roots, you have to put like an N, N out front, right? You have to put like an N out front here. Well, that didn't show up. N out front with some maybe power, who knows? But that's not happening because four is not one of those two roots. It's not negative three, it's not negative two. Okay, so PN takes on the form. This is the form of PN right here. Shoot. Come on now. This is the form of the particular solution. Just draw an arrow to it. I should have labeled it, right? properly, but anyway, who cares? Um, so now we want to find E0. This is like the most difficult part of this whole thing, right? We want to find E0. So how are we going to find E0? Well, if you go back to your recurrence relation, an equals minus 5an minus 1 minus 6an minus 2 plus 42 times 4 to the n, PN should satisfy that. So instead of plugging in um, AN, let's plug in PN, their particular solution. So we're going to have what? Use purple. PN, right? Equals what? What came after the AN? Uh, I forgot. Let me go back. Minus 5, right? Okay, so we're going to have minus 5. 5, pn minus 1, and then we had minus 6, if you remember, and then we had like an an minus 2, so we're going to put a pn minus 2, and then we had that homo non-homogeneous bit on the end, right, it was like plus 42 times 4 to the n power, okay, so I just replaced the ans with the pns because the pns are particular solution to it. All right, so um, now remember the form of the PN. We got the form of the PN above, right? It's E0, 4 to the N, right? E0, 4 to the N. So for, for each of the PJs, we're going to put in uh, E to the 0, 4 to the J. So for PN in particular, we're going to put in, what, E0 times 4 to the N. And we got um, equals minus 5. And then for PN minus 1, we're going to put an E0 times 4 to the n minus, right? And we put an n minus 1 power because we had a subscript n minus 1. We've got what? Minus 6. For pn minus 2, we're going to put what? E0 times 4 to the n minus 2. And then we got to plop on that 42 business plus 42 times 4 to the n. Now, notice that you got like 4 to the n, 4 to the n minus 1, 4 to the n minus 2, 4 to the n. They're all kind of similar. What you want to do, you want to divide divide everything by the smallest power of 4 to the n that shows up. The smallest power is what? 4 to the n minus 2. That's the smaller power of all those, right? n is the largest, n minus 1 is the middle power, n minus 2 is the smallest. So we're going to divide everything by the 4 to the n minus 2. It's minimal power here. That's what you want to do when you have these geometric terms. All right, so uh, when you do that, what do you get? You get E0. So when I take uh, 4 to the n divided by 4 to the n minus 2, n is what? 2 more than n minus 2, so you got 4 squared. So E0 times 4 squared. Then you got what? Negative 5, E0. And then when you take 4 to the n minus 1 divided by... 4 to the n minus 2. Well, n minus 1 is 1 more than n minus 2, so you're going to have what times 4 to the 1 power? That's 1 more. Minus 6. So these do just totally cancel, right? The 4 to the n minus 2 cancel. You get minus 6 e 0. Then on the far right, plus 42. You take 4 to the n divided by 4 to the n minus 2. n is 2 more than n minus 2, so we're going to have 4 squared left there. This is going to give us what? 16, right? 4 squared is 16. e naught e 0 equals... Uh, what do you got? Minus 5 times 4 is going to be minus 20, E naught, E0, minus 6, E0. And then you're going to take, what, 42 times 16. 42 times 16 here in the calculator is 672. All right, keep going, keep going. 
You want to collect all your E0s on the left side. If I collect all my E0s on the left side, it looks like I get what, 16 E0 plus 20 E0 plus 6 E0 equals 672. 16 and 20 and 6 is 42. E0 equals 672. And then divide both sides by 42. Is that right? 42. Yep. And those cancel. And when I cancel, I get E0 on the left. And on the right, 672 divided by 42. 672 divided by 42. 16. That gives me the E0, so I can plug that back in, back into the form of the particular to actually get the particular. So we're going to have what? In place of that E0 right there, where is it? My. In place of that E0, we're going to put a 16, right? 16. And then 16 times 4 to the n will be the particular solution. So pn, where's pn? particular solution is going to be pn, which is what? 16 times 4 to the n. Now, you can actually simplify this, right? 16, the same thing as what? 4 squared. So you got 4 squared times 4 to the n. And you can add those exponents. So you get pn is what? 4 to the n plus 2. That's the way you want to write it. So we got a particular solution. Remember, we had our homogeneous uh, form, form of the homogeneous solution. So we put those together for all solutions. So step three, write all solutions to a sub n. So all the solutions to the recurrence are going to take on this closed form. a sub n is going to be h sub n, solutions to the homogeneous part, associated homogeneous linear recurrence relation plus particular solution. So that is a sub n is going to be, uh, what was it? It was alpha, oh crap, this should have been red, right? Alpha 1, negative 3 to the n plus alpha 2, was it negative 2? Negative 2 to the n. And then we got this particular plus 4 to the n plus 2. Okay, so that's what all the solutions will look like. Now, we don't have any initial conditions. So let's say we want some initial conditions and we want to find what alpha 1 and alpha 2 are. That's the easy part, but I mean, it's still very tedious, right? So now this is going to be part 2 to this. Um, find the exact solution. to a sub n, given the following. Let's say a1 is 56, and a2 is 278. All right, so we're going to set up two equations here. We're going to have a1 equals 56. All right, what was my form back here? So we're going to have what? Alpha 1, negative 3 to the 1 power is going to give me negative 3, plus alpha 2, negative 2 to the 1 power is going to give me negative 2, plus 4 to the, I'm going to plug in 1 there for n, I'm going to have 1 plus 2 is 3. All right, so I plugged in an n, 1 for n, right? All right, let's do A2. Let's apply the initial condition A2. Okay, A2. It's going to be 278. So I'm going to plug in a 2 now. Plug in a 2 in for the N. Here we go. 
alpha 1, I'm going to have what? Negative 3 squared is going to be 9 plus alpha 2. I have negative 2 squared is going to be 4, and I'm going to have plus 4, 2. I'm going to plug in a 2 up top. I'm going to have 4 to the 2 plus 2 is going to be 4 of the power. Okay, so if I simplify this, what do I got? Minus 3 alpha 1, minus 2 alpha 2, plus 64. Right, that's 4 to the 3rd right there, by the way, 64, um, equals 56. Over here we have, what, 9 alpha 1 plus 4 alpha 2 plus 4 to the 4th power is 256 equals 278. And you subtract the constants from the left sides. So I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides in the first equation. I have two, uh, minus 3 alpha 1 minus 2 alpha 2 equals subtract 64 from both sides and get minus 8. And on the other one, I'm going to subtract 256. I'm going to get 9 alpha 1 plus 4 alpha 2 equals when I subtract 256. I get 22. Now, we just we need to solve the system of equations. It's not hard. We can take the easy way, right? We can take an augmented matrix. Make life easy. You got negative 3, 9 are the coefficients for the alpha 1 column. For the alpha 2 column, negative 2, 4. Put our... Uh, bar to indicate the equal sign and then negative 8, 22. So I'm going to ref this, RREF, reduce row echelon form this, row reduce this sucker. What do I get? Let me see. I wrote this down somewhere. A piece of paper. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2. Okay. So this represents the coefficient of alpha 1. So 1, alpha 1 is equal to 1. So alpha 1 equals 1. And this represents the coefficient of alpha 2, so that's 1, alpha 2 equals 2, so alpha 1, alpha 2, or 1 and 2 respectively. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so I plug those back into my, all my solutions for alpha 1 and alpha 2. No. That's not quite right. Two and one. Two and one. I got it backwards. This one should be two. This one should be one. Yeah, I did something different. I did it differently when I did it on my own paper. So this one should be two. This one should be one. So alpha one is two. Alpha two is one. There we go. That's better. All right, so where are we? All right, so we're plugging those back in uh, to the forms here. All the solutions to M. Okay, so we're going to plug in place of alpha 1 right there. We're going to put a 2. And in place of alpha 2 right here, we're going to put a 1. So let's see if we can do that. This is going to be the solution. Solution to AM when A0. A0 is, what was A0? 56. And A1 was 278. Right, it's going to be AM. 2 times negative 3 to the n. So that's plugging in my, my alpha 1 right there. Black, right? It's 2. And then plus 1 times negative 2 to the n. I don't even have to bother writing the 1. I mean, I could put the 1 right there for my alpha 2, but who cares, right? Who cares about 1? And then on the end of that, we had what? plus 4 to the n plus 2, right? 
Let's go back and check, just make sure. Yeah, we plugged in alpha one, alpha two, two and one respectively, two and one respectively. All right, so there we are, there it is. There's the final solution.